Hi there, this is Stephanie Bernthal with ESU 17 and I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Classroom. You do have to have a Google Education account in order to use Classroom, but if you do have a Google domain set up at your school, this is one of the free tools you get and it's really kind of a cool tool. So I'm in my Google Drive right now and I'm going to go ahead and click on my grid here. And if you scroll all the way down, you will see Classroom. So I'm going to click on that. And if you are new to Classroom, your screen may look a little bit different, but you're going to do the same thing. You're going to want to look for a plus button in the top right corner, and it will probably ask you if you want to join a class or if you want to create a class. And as a teacher, you will want to choose creating a class. So for me, I'm going to tap this plus button right here. And again, just like you, only your screen will probably look different. I'm going to pick create a class. So the first thing you're going to do is put in your class name. This can be whatever you want it to be. If you teach multiple sections of the class, you can put in a, a section and you can also put a subject in if it will help. Once you have all the information in, or if you want to leave some blank, that's fine too, you can click Create. All right, once your class is created, it will automatically give you a class background um, depending on what you entered. For instance, if you put in like algebra, the background would probably automatically select some sort of a math related background, but you can always change that. You can change it um, by clicking on select theme, and if you click on that, you can choose from Google's themes that they have already kind of uploaded and have ready for you. So if I liked one of those, I could just go ahead and select it. Um, however, you can also upload your own photo. So if you have a special class photo that you want to have and you want the whole class to be there every time they log in, that's a great idea as well. Once you have your class looking like you want it to, um, you're going to notice that there are three main tabs in Google Classroom. Uh, I will start with the About tab. Your About tab is just where you're going to want to put anything that you want the students to access all year or semester long. So, um, for instance, I would put class um, syllabuses or grading rubrics or anything that they need to reference over and over again here. So you can put in a class description. You can put in a room number. Um, you obviously see that it automatically makes a Google Drive folder, which we'll look at a little bit later. And it also automatically makes a calendar. So this is pretty cool. You can, um, all your assignments that you put on this will automatically be saved onto your calendar. Um, so it just takes a lot of the extra work out of things for you. And finally, um, if you wanted to add a class syllabus or anything like that, you can just add class materials here. And your options are you can upload something by attaching it. You can um, link to something in your Google Drive. You can put in a YouTube video. Maybe you want to make an intro video for yourself. And finally, you can also create links and post them here. You'll see here that I'm listed as the only teacher, but you can also invite other teachers in your district. If you co-teach a class or maybe you want the SPED teachers to have access to the class so they can see what their students need to do, um, there are a lot of options with this button. From the About screen, we're going to move into Students. So I'm going to tap on the Students screen, and here's where you actually invite the students in your district. So you can do that in one of two ways. You can just put the class code up on the board and how you would do that is the students would do the exact same thing you did. They would go to their drive, they would go to the array, they'd go down to classroom, and then they would click that plus button, but instead of choosing create an account, they would click join and enter in that class code and they would automatically be entered. The other option is that you can manually put them in and you can do that by clicking invite students. And you can actually choose from your contact group who you want to invite to your classroom. Um, obviously, as a school district, you would probably have people, uh, your students already registered in there, so you can just click on them and invite them that way. Finally, we're going to get to the stream. The stream is where the bulk of your assignments and things will be. Think of it as kind of a Facebook for students. Your oldest assignments will kind of get buried towards the bottom, and your newest assignments will be up at the top. So you're going to be able to, um, if I click this plus button over here, you can create an announcement in here, create assignments, create questions, or even reuse posts from other 
classes. So um, this is your basic setup. If you want to learn more about creating assignments, we do have another video on our YouTube channel. Feel free to reference it to see how you can create assignments for your students.